Well, we're back and uh, we read today from Psalm 43 verses 1 to 5. Um, and then we read from Luke chapter 12 verse 35 on to verse 59. In the psalm, it starts with the words, vindicate me. How important it is to be vindicated, to be proved right, to be tested and to be demonstrated that we were living uh, in God's standards. Uh, and then we come on to Luke chapter 12, and this is really warnings about the second coming. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you're watching. Make sure you're working. Make sure you're being faithful. It's important for us that we live all the time ready for the Lord's return. We shouldn't be obsessing with the uh, order of his return. Some people buy books and read books and study all the time, um, trying to find out how the Lord's return will take place. But actually what we should be doing and what the point of the teaching when you read it in the scriptures, the point of the teaching about the second coming is this, be ready, be a faithful servant. So when the Lord comes, he finds you doing what you're meant to do and then he'll reward you, then he'll bless you. Don't be an unfaithful servant. Don't think the Lord tarries, the Lord's taking a long time. I'll live, I'll want to. Be a faithful servant. And so we uh, commit this day into the Lord's hands and we pray his blessing upon it. Lord, we pray that you will take this day and use it for your glory. That, Lord, we will be founding it to be faithfully doing your will. And, Lord, we dedicate to you all of the things that we will face today. And, Lord, we pray your blessing and strength in our lives. Vindicate us, Lord. Prove us to be right. And Lord, we pray that we will live wholly before you. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, grafting our hearts the love of your name, increasing us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy, keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen and amen.